Hey guys, hey, welcome back to my video. My name is Nigel. I am the founder and creator of Offline to Online, uh, the place that we show entrepreneurs, small business owners, CEOs, how to build a massive residual income in their part time and transition from your job into your own business, allowing you to um, have more freedom, stay at home with the kids, travel the world, work on the beach if you want, and increase that net worth. Today's subject is going to be how many ATMs should I buy because I'm starting in the ATM business? Let me, let me get my calculator out. Zero, unless you've got a for sure thing and a good account that you know is gonna be good you're taking over, I recommend you don't buy an ATM to get in the ATM business. There are plenty of ways for you to own a free ATM or maybe for a few hundred dollars by going into a store and paying for their upgrade or um, maybe you can find an account to take over that's already upgraded and you can just start loading it for the customer. I recommend don't go out there and buy a bunch of ATMs. Don't go out there and buy an ATM full stop if you can help it. Now, you can go out and buy an ATM once you know the volume of the location is doing well. For example, if they've got an old machine and it's doing 500 transactions, absolutely renegotiate, go buy an ATM, replace it, but as long as you get a good contract. I had a gentleman come to me one time and he said to me, I'd like to buy 100 ATMs, I have all the locations ready to go. I said, great. He said, I'll be paying cash. I said, great. We talked about it. And I said, where are you going to put these ATMs? He said, well, I've got ATMs all over Koreatown. Well, needless to say, by the time I finished rolling off my chair and laughing, and I was just about to walk out, I said, look, why do you think you can put ATMs at Koreatown and make it to make uh, money? I said, let me ask you a question. You're Korean? He said, yeah. When was the last time you used an ATM? He said, I don't use ATMs. Okay, why not? He says, because I carry cash. And I said, do you think that you're typical of the clientele in Koreatown? He said, yeah. I said, have you noticed the line around the bank in the Koreatown bank at Bank of America? He says, yeah. I said, people line up there every morning to get their cash. The people of Koreatown of Asian persuasion generally, this is good education guys, generally don't use an ATM. So if you find a location that is a whole lot of Asian folk in that area, you definitely don't want to put an ATM there. They will all look at your ATM and they'll say, what a lovely ATM. Can I buy one? They are business people. They are culturally not going to give you that ATM fee. I've had two locations in the past, identical in every way, massive amounts of people, lots to spend the money on. The one location had two ATMs side by side, did around 1,500, 2,000 transactions a month. And it, it was a kick butt location. I had the exact same situation in uh, Koreatown great big masses of people, 10, 20,000 people a day walking past it. Very little English was spoken, they're very cultural, and they all walked up to the ATM and said, hey, that's a great looking thing, how can I make some money with an ATM? <laughs> On the one location, I'm getting 2,000 transactions, only five days a week, 20 days of the month it's being used, 2,000 transactions, Got the other one over here doing three transactions, maybe three transactions a day if I'm on a good day. The difference is culture. You've got to know your location where you're going to put the ATM location. So you, the best way to do, as I said, walk into that location, offer to fix that ATM for them and pay for it. Offer to upgrade that ATM and pay for it. If you know it's a good location, it needs a new ATM, then is the exception to the rule, go buy an ATM, but make sure you've got a good contract and make sure you've got a good deal. And for that, you're going to need to call me or call the company you're using and make sure that you've got a 
good strong foundation to start from. When typically as a rule of thumb, if I'm putting an ATM machine out there, I want to get my money back in no more than six months. Ideally three months I want to be making a profit. I do not want to be there 12, 18 months waiting to get my money back and then start making a profit. Doesn't work for me, that doesn't. Ideally, I want to get a free ATM. I want to take over one that's in there. Uh, worst case scenario, I want to go buy one and replace theirs or take a used one and put that in. So anyway, um, happy 4th, guys. Um, we've just gone past the weekend. We're a hot day in Huntington Beach. If you have any questions, please go ahead and call me. Um, email me at nigeldix at yahoo.com. Like my video below if you would. I appreciate it. Uh, if you have any comments, you know, just put them in. I'll answer you as quick as, quick as I can. And so like I say, for any of you people who are entrepreneurs looking to transition from your job into your business, whether it's traditional business, ATMs, or whether it's online, let's talk. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next video. Um, again, my name is Nigel. I will see you soon.